Hello everyone, welcome back to Zor Pilgrimage of the Sloths. We are here halfway through the first area, working towards the boss of the Rugged Steps. But first, we have some upgrades, crafting, and deck managing to do. So, let's see what we've got. As for cards, we can make a club, a sharp stick, a shield, and another rock hurler. A uh, shield, sloth gains two armor. Is the... Is the, the weight symbol mean it's not reshuffled? Is that one of those? I don't have any of those in my deck to check. Oh, we do. Uh, exhaust does not reshuffle. Yes, yeah, so you get that once. Does not seem incredibly good. Here's our excess cards because they are attack cards. They can't fit in the attack stuff. That's fine. Uh, anywho. Cord supply, gain a harvest card. Training dummy, get a swipe attack card. Heal one each camp. One max water. Cozy fire. Well, I don't think I need another rock hunter card. Two armor is like fine, but I'm not sure I want it given that it's going to uh, uh, not reshuffle. More food, more water. I think more water is going to be good because our harvest card is for two. And then we can play it twice with four water. So let's grab that. We get another walk card out of it. And then a cozy fire we could do as well. Can't do a bubbling soup until we get a fish. Uh, but we can do a cozy fire. Yeah, go on then. We get another walk card. So now our deck is flush with walk cards. We have eight experience. We could upgrade a walk to something else. But I'm wondering if I would rather upgrade forage to be further or hop to be further. Backtrack goes to three plus actions at edge of map for five. Nature walk goes to two plus actions for five. We could bring Lazy down. We could bring a walk up. We could go Big Strike for four on Maniacal Strike. I think I'm going to do that. And I'll upgrade a walk to an Explore. And we'll keep things moving. We could still make a Shield. We could make Cord Supply or Simple Bedding. Let's make simple bedding. We're going to want to heal along the way. And now we really are ready to go to the overgrown shrine. All right, what do we have? We've got a lot of water. That's good. Tanglewood. Each turn raises three fleeting weeds or thorns. Belligerent bug. Two actions, flying, yap one, range two, infuriating aura, enemies gain one damage. That is our enemies, not its enemies. Tough bug, grimp, pesky bug, grimp runt. All right, nothing too dangerous. It's going to be a moment for stuff to come to us. Boomberry, obstacle, one health, boom for two. Explodes at end of round for 2 damage in area 1, if destroyed. Harvest for 4 food. You can fly 2 actions. We've got a thing to harvest over there, a recipe over here. Lots of walks, which is kind of upsetting. Right, I think I'm just going to start. By foraging that grass. And I'm going to walk in this direction. Oh great. That is definitely where I wanted those to be. Okay. Well. That's fun. Down here, I think we can just get away. Oh, we're over here first. Of course we are. 
Explodes at the end of round for two damage in one area. I mean, if I move away, it would kill you. But I would need one, two, three, which we can do with a motivate. Is now the time for learning lessons. Um, yeah, I was going to attack here. I want you to move to there. That's good. Ah, damn. All right, one guy is down. That's good. Backtrack, we are at the edge of the map. So we can attack here, attack again. How much health do you have? Two. Unideal. And then we just have the tree at the back to deal with later. Maniacal Strike would kill you. Then you'll attack us for one damage again. I think that's fine. Because we're next to water, so we'll get that water back. We'll heal a little bit when we get back to camp anyway. So between us, we just want to deal with this. Two actions, range two. All right, I'm just going to move away in both directions. We could rock hurl. No, I'm going to move... Away. We learn about snacks. A great thing, that. A nice snack. They move over. They make weeds. We are about to reshuffle the deck. I want to harvest that. But until we get our harvest card, there's not much I can do over here. Apart from... I mean, I don't even need to walk over. Because our harvest card has range 2. So I'm just going to drop the bark. Then here, we're going to get hit again, whether I like it or not, really, realistically. Because we are not stood next to a tree for nature walk. Or I could keep just trying to move away, but that doesn't seem to help me either. So, get hit once, you hit me back. That's fine. The roots keep doing their rooty thing. Discard the healing pod. Oh my god. One, two, three. We'll get them. So it's just the tree now, which is more of an annoyance than a threat. We will forage this. We get a new card. Collect, sneak, and scrounge. Give sloth one action. Gain one action when an enter effect grants experience, resources, or food. Sneak and Scrounge give Sloth three actions, plus one to food gained from Enter effects. A 2-3 is pretty good. A 1-1 one, one right now, as we are, would still be nice to be able to have a button to look at the battlefield here, but... We're stood right there, so we could go experience, experience, food... Then the fur after that. No, just give me... Give me the high action plays. So, we can go... Harvest tree here. Sticks. No fish. Not too much else to go. So... We will eat this for three. And eat that for four. We are just going to start making a beeline towards that tree. I will explore here. Get the sticks and the fur. More good stuff for crafting later, I hope. Just going to walk one 
to that stick. Uh, backtrack is no good. I want to hop over this water. So we'll just move for one. Weeds be weedy. Let's do a hop. We need more food. I think we'll be fine. Uh, I'll take a lazy. We get that XP. We have forage again, which will get us to that tree in a minute. Motivate is good because we need the extra food. Climbing up a ledge like that takes two actions, if you were wondering. Nature walk additional stuff when next to nature uh, next to water tiles uh, this only this is fleeting weeds it's going to go at the end of the round anyway now ah, we can nature walk over to here it's fine there's sticks down there to collect in a second anyway a maniacal strike sees them destroyed that xp is in a really annoying spot but we'll be okay Forage for a branch. Then destroy that. We can walk over for that stick. Uh, I will discard the branch. Discard the water base card. I should have attacked the wood pile, but never mind. We can explore for those sticks. We're going to destroy that to get those sticks. Hop over for the experience. And everything is great. It's a lot of walk cards, but we can make them more interesting things down the line, I hope. Back to crafting. Inspiring figure. Plus one XP when sharing. Interesting. Big fire plus two more max food. Interesting that it needs bark now. I don't think it did before. I would love to get more stuff on this right-hand side going, but we are lacking stones. Shields and clubs attack adjacent target for two blunt damage. I think blunt gets by either evade or armor, but I can't remember which. Comfy pillows, plus two max health and gain card rested. Now, we're only going to have limited stuff like goo and fur for later on. But a claw and a beast horn for claw sharpeners is tough. But we are swell on sticks right now. No fish. I guess I'll take the max food. The max food will be good for just getting us through the levels. So we have another walk card. Eight XP to spend. Rock Hucker is fine as it is. We can upgrade this explore into something more interesting. But this would go to a three plus two for each adjacent tree and water. I'm going to do that because if we can stand next to two or three water tiles, that is a lot of actions. That leaves us with two XP, which is not enough to do anything. So we'll be off to the Wiggling Grave. That sounds uncomfortable. Oh, goody. We have Sink Sand. Enter. Sloth becomes stuck until Sink Sand is harvested. Harvest. Remove. Stuck. Cannot use movement cards. All right, anything down on this side? Water, some mushrooms, a line of sink sand. There's a fish hiding behind there. That's good knowledge. There's a bowl of conjuring, a bunch of enemies back there, some grass, a bunch of sticks, piles of leaves, and a moon grave. In six turns, destroy grave and spawn an agitated apparition. An agitated apparition cannot be hurt and does 99 damage, at least the last time I saw one. So that is a big priority for us. Do we have hop? No. 
Do we have harvest? Also, no. This is going to be tricky. So we are going to start by getting out of this thing's way and attacking it. You're not in range for my rock hurler. So we'll walk forward one. That is one of our five turns. Six turns. All those enemies in the corner do not have line of sight to get out of that spot. So they're just going to be there until we get there. Uh, we have gained hop. So I think... Even though there's five food here, I think we're going to hop over because we have to get past that sink sand. We can just walk over one. Plenty of mushrooms down this end for us if we need them. Backtrack is not going to do great for us. So we're going to explore, move, and attack. We can now have line of sight to the moon grave, which is something. I'm going to walk one over to then use backtrack in a second, I think. Ah, oh, the moon graves. Five HP as well is so much. We will draw Maniacal Strike soon. So we need to move two. I was going to save backtrack for a moment, but I think we just have to get to where we're going right now. Uh, nature Hike, whilst next to some water, is not bad. That'll be five actions. One, two, three, four, five. Right, in two turns. Well, this turn. Get Maniacal Strikes. Down here, there's not very much for us to do. Until we can get past this Sink Sand ourselves. But at least the clock will not be... Our biggest worry now that that is destroyed now we can kind of go at our own pace get me that food as long as we're all right for food and water we'll be okay um probably want to destroy that wood pile first and just kind of let them come in in an almost orderly row. I do want to harvest this bowl of conjuring. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rock hurl. Against this stick, I think. Am I going to do it now, though? Just getting to these weeds to get to the fish is going to be a pain. Oh, God. Let's just discard the healing pod. We cannot do anything with this, man. All right, I'm going to rock chuck against that one. They move like a tiny little swarm. Then, great question. Let's move over here. We could forage to get rid of this tile. But I don't really want to. Because I want to forage a whole bunch of stuff over here as well. But we might not draw hop for another two full turns. I'll tell you what. Harvest that. 
That's good that the weaker grump is now next to this. I'm going to go... Am I going to stay here? I think I am. I'm going to walk back one to get next to the water. We refill on water there. Here, we're just going to attack stuff a bunch. Let's give us four actions on backtrack. So we can go one, two, three, four. We're full on water. I want to destroy this weed. I'm going to walk one to here. Which seems awkward at first. But I have plans. You get destroyed. We're now stood next to two water tiles. So nature hike... Gives us seven actions. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Here, we can maniacal strike or we can scrounge. I'm going to hold the water for harvesting I want this fish I do, I do want that fish we have four water currently I need a walk card I guess I can hop one Not ideal. This is the last enemy, so once they are dead, we can start hiking around as much as we want. I'm going to head towards the food at the back. Right, there's a lot of resource I want and not a lot of time to get it all. Would I rather a fish or the bowl of conjuring? It's a great question. I'm going to start with the fish. Then up here, we're at the edge of the board, so I can backtrack. That gives us four actions. One, two, three. I'll take the food as a priority. Do I need Banaco Strike for anything in particular? No, there's two, three things left to harvest, so we are going to need water again. So, I'm going to Maniacal Strike here to open up the water to us. Motivation is solid. I'm going to leave the sticks. It's not worth the two extra steps. We have so much food on Holger, but nothing on Gorb. I'm going to discard the fish for free. We could eat the fish, but I want to keep it for camp. We've refilled on water. We're going to start moving over. Then we can nature hike next to this tree. That will give us five actions. One, two, three, four. We find some more goo. Five. There is a mushroom there. How did I miss that? Uh, we will walk because we can afford the food. You can motivate one, two, Bandages. And three. 
We'll play Scrounge because it's the more expensive card. Nothing in that leaf pile. Now I'm just desperately waiting to see our harvest cards come round. I will hop over here then. Backtrack. I'll just, I'll walk. Walk is fine. We'll walk to that. We will walk. No. Ah. I'm going to backtrack just because I want to save the cheaper card for the other guy. Uh, we can forage. Yeah. A nut, a grimp shell, or a grimp eye. Sloth fills food and water. That is a lot different than it used to be. It used to be like two food, two water, or something. Uh, or a grimp shell, or a nut. Show me crafting menu. Uh, eyes are rumination orb. Target practice needs an eyeball. What was the other option? Grimp shell. Rumination orb also needs the grimp shell. But not much else here. All right, I'm going to take the eyeball. Then I'm waiting to shuffle and get that card back. But I don't have high hopes for it. We can spend a one cost walk card. Actually, we can discard a one cost water card. We can discard the Grim Pie for free. We can play a one cost walk card. I just want this stone. I don't care about this sticks. Uh, we're going to hop over to here. We can discard a rock hucker. Do you have water left? You don't. You have nothing left. The odds are we're not going to get this for free. I will... How many cards do we have left? Six. One of them is motivation. One of them is forage. So with 12 health, we are going to heal at least one when we get back to camp. So I would play a walk. We take one damage. There's motivation. We will discard explore down to zero food. We can play motivation for free. Try and get back to some water. Ah, uh, we have no food. I'll take the hit on one walk. No, I don't want to lose two health for any of these things. All right, we're not going to get this stone right now, which is a shame, but we can't have it all. Back to camp. Crafting. So we don't have the stone for a training dummy or a practice stone or a target practice. We have a fish, but we don't have leaves or cane or stone or branch. We have two grass, so should we just make cord supply? I mean, I don't think... Do I need the harvest card that badly? We have seen a lot of harvest stuff. Fine. There's another generic harvest card. Bandage, Slough regains two health and removes bleeding. We have nine XP to spend. We can upgrade our new harvest card or a bunch of the other stuff we already have. All right, nine. We could upgrade three walks, but I kind of like having the mix of cheap stuff and expensive stuff. Give me an upgraded forage to a harvest within range three and upgrade one of my explore cards. Backtrack, flurry or climb. Ignores, 
action and height penalties. Give me a flurry. And with nothing else to craft that I want, start the next day at the Gusting Altar. I imagine that's going to have trees that will want to blow us around. There's one. Gust wood. There's some berries on the ground. A tumbleweed. Wood. Concealing grass. A thorny bug. Two health. Attacker takes one damage if adjacent. A rock grimp. Two armor. Two health. A spit bug and the tree, but only those four enemies. There is a Mending Glyph over there, which heals for four. There's also a Bowl of Conjuring and a Nut Tree, and one with a branch, no stones, one single water source. Okay then, where do we want to begin? I want to attack this before taking the Mending Glyph. So, let's just start. We have our Harvest and our Gather cards, which is interesting. This giant void in the center is really not conducive to getting me going places. I'm just going to discard this healing pod. It's not doing me any favors, and we are low on actual movement cards right now. You have one movement. The wind is pushing us south. All right, I'm going to play Nature Hike just so these berries aren't entirely wasted. Then this will be a Maniacal Strike to just kill them in one hit. The wind is blowing this way, which is annoying for them. You're going to move one, so let's hop to here. We're going to Maniacal Strike. We're going to take one damage back, but that's fine. Neither of us get moved. Then I want to hit you and move away oh, i didn't think about the wind the wind is going to be fine that works out just okay for us knocked back when melee attacked drops sticks or grass resource grass would not be bad uh harvest or destroy all right then let's hit it once you move you move we both get blown this guy has 3 HP left. I'm going to... We're getting pushed that way next. So I can hit you. And then step on this food. I'm going to gather... I'm going to harvest this grass. Now, this guy has two health, but we have Flurry. And that means we can attack once and attack twice because card does not card cost for attacks does not increase while playing Flurry. Here, we are at the edge of the board. So I can go one, two, three, four. We get pushed. This guy only has one HP. We can Rock Hurl over to them, no bother. Uh, we're going to get pushed to the right. I would prefer not to. So let's hit this once. We do get grass, which is what I wanted. You can hit that for a stick. We do need to destroy this tree at some point. 3 HP. So, 
We might as well just start hitting it. We're being pushed down and left next. So I'm going to take this branch, move around to here, then that'll push me towards where I want to be. We have no water left. So I'm just going to move here. We got pushed in a favorable direction. And then... Scrounge me some increased food. You have 2 HP left. I can kill you with Flurry. Now the wind has stopped. We can just focus on harvesting the last of what we want. Going to need more water if we're going to harvest four times all of this stuff. You have none. This is the only water source on the board. So I'm going to gather that from where we are. Here, with no water, I'm just going to discard a branch. With one water, I'm going to discard the rock hucker, unless there's anything to attack, but there's not. Destroy that for a one. And then we are going to make the hike back towards the water in a second. I was looking for backtrack because I want to do this long walk, although I want to stop exactly on that. And backtrack is going to give us four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I can eat some food along the way. That'll be fine. So that means you get nature hike. We're going to go just like that. Can't enter the roots. That's fine. One, two, three, four. We can hop to the new recipe. Shredder. That's fun. We refill our water at the end of the turn. Then with that four water, we can harvest the bowl of conjuring and the nut tree. We just have to get over there. So we'll start with one walk, which then puts us next to the, the void for backtrack. Here. I'm going to get that food. I want to get Holger to the healing glyph. We are going to... I'm just going to walk one for now, because I want Holger to get out of the way. She is healed up to full. Put her there. She might be able to get to something helpful in a second. So Holger now. Go fetch this food and stand next to water. It means we can discard water cards we don't need like Maniacal Strike for free. I'm going to gather the further away resource. Grimp Shell, Healing Pod, and Grimp Eye. Not the stuff I wanted to see, unfortunately. What do we need the shells for? Rumination Orb. Sloth start each day with one evade, counterattack if avoiding all damage from the attack of an adjacent enemy. That's tricky. I guess I'm just going to take another Grimp Eye. Then here we can discard Maniacal Strike. We'll refill our water anyway. And here we have our Harvest card. Drops those two nuts on the ground. Discard the Grimp Eye for free. And three actions gets those two nuts. Ready to make camp. Right, crafting. We can get two deck slots with carry packs. We can get more experience with inspiring figure. That's all we can get, though. 
One XP when sharing. So that would be like sharing food or something. Shredder. Attack target in range 4 for 1 damage. If damaged, enemy target gains bleed. Shredder placed in emptiest tile nearest to impact. Oh, interesting. Well, we don't have a claw to make that. Snack. Gain 3 food. Interesting. Club. All right. Give me inspiring figure. Comfy pillows. We need a leaf. We can't make anything else there. I don't want bandages or a snack. Seven XP to spend. How does Flurry upgrade? Three that can be used in three attacks. I think I will do it because we're about to fight the boss. So, let me just check what additional cards we're holding. A fish and a healing pod. Swap the fish for a nut. Keep the healing pod. And then, let's go and fight the templed lair. Sick of bug. Sick of sloth. Careful, that's one tough grimp. Okay, so first things that I see are a mending glyph and a pond. Also, this general lower right quarter only has one bug egg in it, which is going to be beneficial to us. There's another water here, and then some grass, some sticks, some meat. More sticks, okay. It has 20 health. You're going to backtrack because... Oh no, you could, uh, you could nature hike because you're next to water. So we'll backtrack here. And I'm going to stand behind this tree in water for now. And here, there's nothing I want to harvest particularly or anything like that. So we'll nature hike for five... One, two, three, four, five. This guy moves, breaks a stone, in creates a pesky bug. I'm going to harvest this fish real fast. This guy, actions two. I would like to step back from them then. Okay, I'm going to discard a fish, and here, I'm going to attack with scrounge for one, two, three. Now this guy is right up on us. We basically just want to kill it as fast as possible, and we can start doing that with berserk. That's three damage. Motivation is another two. They hit us for one. Oh, the flying creatures. This is going to be rough. So far, we've gained no things that would let us do more damage at one time, which is a great shame. I'm going to hop you. Am I going to hop you? No. Oh, of course, we do have our big attacks. Right. I'm actually going to get... Ah, oh, never mind. I was going to hit the other fly first. Right. Be rid of this guy. Then we can just focus on this. Maniacal Strike four. Absolutely. We just don't have the maneuverability to kite away and attack, I don't think. Alright, we're going to hop to here. And I don't even think lazy will help us here. 
Gonna attack once, move over to try and get behind this pond a bit. I don't love it, but you know. I can gather this mushroom for food. But I'm just going to discard a nut. Uh, nature hike would be great for five if we were stood next to the water. So let's do that. I'm going to walk one and try and share this healing pod in a second. One, two, three. Ah, the extra four, five is not worth anything to me because I'm dumb. All right, share this healing pod. That is... Sloth gains two health. Share also apply effect to another adjacent sloth. So we both heal a bit. This guy has seven health left. We're going to attack for one. We're going to get hit for one again. We can rock hurl from back here. Maniacal strike. And then... Can we make it over to all of that stuff? Is a great question. You have one HP left. You're dead. Okay. The threat is over. We lost a bunch of health. Which is not ideal. Gather that mushroom while you're stood next to water. We are going to try and get over there. But let's go via the food. Motivation is great. Uh, I'm going to hop again to there. Then we can scrounge those meats. I'm just going to walk onto the healing. And berserk my way back to the water side. Uh, backtrack will be fine. These eggs are now dormant, so we don't have to worry about those. There's one more sticks here. Can we go and get it? I think we can. I think that's everything. All right, one boss down. We get back to camp. Join me next time. We'll see what zone we are headed to next and what we can do with our recently acquired goods. For now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you want to play Zor Pilgrimage of the Slaughter for yourself, there'll be links down below to go and see the Discord and the Steam page and all of that good stuff. Otherwise, thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.